हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सेशन फोर ऑफ वर्चुअल बॉक्स डेमो एंड ट्यूटोरियल ओके वी आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड आई वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन थ्री सेशंस विथ क्रिएटिंग बेसिक वेबसाइट्स ऑफ टू थ्री पेजेस एंड अ मोबाइल ऐप द लास्ट सेशन i'm going to share my screen and let us continue from here to do more on the virtual box platform so i've just opened the website okay i'm just going to log in from here oops right so uh before doing new things uh, we have found two issues which i fixed just quickly show you that so on the session 2 we had created a new page called new product this page and on this page there were two issue we found one was uh, one was that the limited time of this is a button banner layout which was coming on the little left aligned that is being fixed now it's coming on the center and the second issue is that uh, this button banner layout the image was not taking full width this also has been fixed which means if i go here and go to style on web if i uh, no this was not the first layout this was second last layout if i quickly go to web and change to zero and refresh it this is not fixed okay uh, just for the people who are joined uh, watching this video on youtube maybe at the first time uh, this is the third session of the series and the fourth session of the series and you can go ahead and find other videos on the youtube uh, for the initial instruction of how to create these pages from the scratch uh, there was one more question we had In the last session, that if I want to remove this image and I want to create a uh, put a full image in the background, I think this is done. Let me quickly check if this has been fixed or not. So the layout is just above FAQ section. FAQ section. This is the layout. If I create a copy of it. I just created duplicate copy of it. I will just move it above the gallery layout so that I don't destroy this one. I will just keep this one, and there's a copy of two. And one of the session question was asked that how to remove this and put a background image. Let me give it a try. If we come here, and if I say that okay, I want to remove the image, I told you that if you click on the image again and then submit. it should actually remove if i go to edit and you you okay the image is not yet removed i thought this is fixed but so that if you still there we will fix it and we'll cut back to you guys maybe next session close it and maybe remove this layout you can just go ahead and delete the layout any time okay so today the idea is to create a page with some product information uh, some skus some pricing information and place the order so to place an order you need to have some skus sku is the stock keeping unit is a standard term used for managing stock in the e-commerce platform so a stock is usually a title let's say i'm going to sell a laptop uh with subtitle let me put apple laptop the description if needed i'm just skipping this i'm saying minimum quantity one maximum quantity three i don't want anyone to sell buy more than three quantity and i'm going to put a price of uh, this is indian rupees price and apple laptop usually comes at starting from 89 i think 990 uh, that's the proxy starting price just press save So a laptop has been added here. This is one of the SKU. I can add more SKUs. Let me add another SKU. Laptop of uh, Samsung. Does Samsung make the laptop? Yes, they do. 
Okay, I'm putting the same min and max. I'm putting the pricing as 59.99G. And this is it. See, there are two laptops with a different sub uh, subtitle. I will go to the page here. The same page, if I go ahead and try to add CSKUs. Um, so let us put this just below this gallery layout. So let us look into the page quickly. So this is the page. This is the description information. This is the image gallery. I want to put the SKU information right below the gallery. So if I want to put a layout right below the gallery, I have to go to the gallery and press on add new. And there's a layout named SKUs. If I click here, I will say, uh, I can put some detail here. Let's say, items hmm. yeah i'm just putting a description here skju i just said first laptop okay it seems like i should just this subtitle also but okay for now i have added a samsung and apple laptop right here and let us see how the website looks like I'm jumping really fast, probably. If I'm but okay, so here you go. So the items you can buy these items here: Samsung laptop and Apple laptop of the given price. So you see, whatever number you put for the pricing, we take care of the currency and we take care of this decimal points and other things. Let me let me go to SKU and quickly change the style and. Uh, some background color. Okay, now um, the color doesn't look really nice. Maybe I should. Do I have a cell background color or something? And this is cell background color. Maybe I can try something like that also. Let me see. It's not affected. So, okay, the, the pink color definitely doesn't look nice. I'll keep it more of a yellowish white. Yeah, this is probably okay. Now, uh, if you want to change the currency now, you must be thinking how to do that. If I want to change the currency, it's very simple. Go to dashboard. And you see here the currency option, it says Indian rupee. I can always go ahead and change to any currency I want. So let me put the euro for now and submit. If I update the currency to euro, everything will, the symbol will change to euro. Obviously the price doesn't change, so you have to go ahead and actually update the price. But the currency is picked globally, which means if you have hundreds or thousands of SKUs, everything will come to the same currency. Right now, we don't have an option to pick different currency for different items. The globally, the project uses the same currency. So if I have used Euro, I must go ahead, go ahead and update pricing. So to update the pricing, I have to just go ahead and update the SKU. Uh, so just quickly, one more thing that, let's, let's make a new page, okay, offers. And I will show you something here. See, the page is offers. And on this page, I will probably put a text area. Okay. No, not, not text area. Instead, I, I would probably like to put title first. Submit. And then I will put the text area. Okay. And these lightning deals now before they are gone. Okay, and I will put SKU. Okay, and if I'm putting both SKUs here, add and submit. If I come here, okay, we don't have to refresh. Actually, I have to 
go and click on the uh, get this page by okay the page is a bit empty but that's okay probably the idea is to see that uh, you get the same SKUs here and there as well now if you want to update the SKU you just go to SKU update and it, it's reflected on both the places so let us see what I want to update laptop Samsung laptop Apple okay I would just want to update the price add it so if I put the pricing as euro it will be uh, approximately like 999 maybe like one zero double line euro the approx conversion I'm doing and there's another laptop 599 I will just convert into 999 euro okay just come here and refresh the page and you will see the price is updated perfectly uh, it is updated to both the places okay so this is how you can add the items for e-commerce right now we do not have an option to buy from website it is only available on the mobile app uh, soon in future we will maybe in a, down the line in a month or two we will have an option to buy from website also okay so i have shown you how to add the skus i will quickly sh show you one of the issue which i was trying to demonstrate yesterday and i failed to do that but that is also fixed that was search keyword if i go to advanced remember i said that if somebody type a wrong spelling and you still want your user to find the appropriate page so put that into first text and the, your page is searched your page search because you uh, you put it on the first text so this content this is wrong spelling is not displayed anywhere here if this is not displayed anywhere here google will as such not like uh, complain anything or anyone else will not find any typo here but it's somewhere hidden on the page which means the search will still honor that string and you can search and find it so this could be useful many times if you want to use uh, give a uh, you want to use different kind of keywords for the same product which you don't want to display on the page for example if you are selling jeans and you want to put different brand names uh, you want to you can put all the brands name and if somebody goes to your website and search any brand name it leads to the right page where the jeans is being sold okay uh i was trying to connect my phone with my screen and somehow this is not working today i tried a couple of times i will just try it once more if i can able to connect it i will i would like to show this page on mobile app because that's where you actually see something really good uh, the e-commerce stuff okay let's connect it they have an option for qr code also very nice if i if it works no device font please make sure the device is connected to the same wi-fi this is the same wi-fi i'm connected to i'm really connected to the same wi-fi on my phone i will just try to disconnect and reconnect to the wi-fi on the phone and if i can connect to the same wi-fi which i did somehow but today it is not picking up just not picking up my my phone I and mean, this is not nice but i will just try last time as I will just show this app stuff tomorrow for order placement because connecting it says just this connecting connection fails unfortunately just leave it for now please 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 no it is to say fails to connect okay 
Uh, so tomorrow I will show how to place the order from the phone and the order comes right here. Uh, other than that, let us go to the uh, SEO part of the website. So if I go to one of the pages, let's say, this is a very uh, new mature page. Let me add some information on this page first. And then I will put some uh, SEO parameters here and we'll show you how to put that, how to manage the SEO parameters. Did like to use them. some random colors. Okay, there's a text area. Offer with this, and I will put be, uh, the below of, below the offer. I would like to put one image, just one big image, end to end, and uh, a link to that image. Let me try that. Okay, I have a couple of images here, and I can just go ahead and upload another image. Image are already uploaded. Maybe I can use existing images. Banner. I will use uh, one banner. Okay, I don't want to put a text. And the page should link to somewhere. Maybe like about submit. Ah, I missed the same thing again. When you add a image here, or in any content here like this, you have to press add button before submitting. If you don't put press the add button, the content doesn't get added. And there must be a link also. Okay, here we go. It is linked. Okay, just to give a revisit of how to manage. But before that, I will just fix the layout part, padding zero, margin zero. To keep it really wide. Okay. End to end image. Here I go. This is good. If I click here, I just go to the the page I wanted to. And I can add this new page on the website menu. This is a website menu. I will add a new page. Mm. It is offer and I have to put some icon. I just went here and I will use Offer icon. Mm. Let me just pick some icon from here. Okay. Finding a good icon is sometimes really difficult. To me at least. This is GM. G E M. So what I have done is I have logged into all the icons very quickly and picked one. FA regular gem. I should use FA regular gem and offer and save. Okay, hopefully this time it should work well. I click here. Icon FA regular gem. It looks like icon is I can didn't came correctly. I'll just try once more. Hmm. Oh yeah, it could be that caching issue. I forgot that. Let me give it a try again. I have not yet resolved my laptop caching issue. So sorry for that. Think. Console. Come on. First page. I can directly go to our first page and see if icon comes correctly. So that was nice. Laptop caching issue. That's okay. I can just remove one of the icon.
good okay yeah this is probably okay so i think uh, the key thing i plan to place the order which is not possible i will do something else then let us see how many layouts we have added and i will add few more layouts and explain all about that those new layouts i'll just click on plus Title table is to use bookmarks. Okay, there's a layout name bookmark where you can add external links to the website. The links could be pointing to anywhere else. So let us see what the bookmark means and how can we use this. Okay, I have already added a new bookmark here. I will add few more bookmarks. Let's say social media links. Facebook. Uh, let's say I'm gonna put my Facebook page here. Right now, I will put directly Facebook URL. Facebook. I want to keep Facebook icon here for obvious reason. I will probably prefer this icon without circle. Good. I will put few more uh, bookmarks like Twitter. Twitter.com, I will put some Twitter icon. I will use the bird without any box. And the font is if a band, Twitter. Okay. And uh, Facebook, Twitter, and maybe I can put one more icon, let's say LinkedIn or Snapchat or something or I have LinkedIn and I have, I will use LinkedIn. LinkedIn.com, done. Let's quickly go to the page, the offers page. And say, uh, let me just show you how to use this bookmark layout. Uh, I can just go here and type title as uh, our social presence. I can put the LinkedIn. No, I will start with Facebook, then Twitter, then LinkedIn and then press submit and let us see how the page looks like then oops i have refreshed the wrong page here okay so our social presence comes like this so all the links with the domain name and the title comes vertically uh, these are the green colors which can be changed to any other color i want they have picked green color from somewhere. Uh, let me see, style. Anything is green? Yes, the title is green. The bookmark title is green. I can change this color to maybe bluish. Let's see how it looks, how it goes. Yeah, it can become bluish. Okay, I will show you just one more layout. If I make a copy of this, okay, close. Okay. Copy of bookmark layout. And in the bookmark layout, there's an style option of direction vertical and horizontal. If I use the horizontal direction, so remember last I just copied the same layout twice. So you will see two the same layout two times. The second one is horizontal. So if I use horizontal, it just shows icon because on horizontal. It doesn't make much more sense to show the domain and name completely. It will just show icon and a link on that with title. I can just remove title. I can put some background color. So uh, if I want to remove title, there's an option of either I can just go ahead and edit the title or I can just hide title from here. And I can put some background color. Refresh. 
yep this looks probably cleaner okay uh, okay i have shown you bookmark layout with horizontal and vertical variant files layout is something okay files layout banner layout, banner and gallery i have already shown pages layout i have already shown that how to connect multiple pages from one page i will just make another pages layout okay uh let's say i will put a layout name breed more and i'll put more pages about us new product okay uh, this is offer anyways so i will just put home i can put this also just to show you i'm just adding four pages okay okay and if i come here and refresh this is the pages layout which has four buttons right now they are all using same image and i'm gonna just now show you i will show you how to change these images uh i can just change the size of these four by changing page layout style and there's a grid option for pages there should be a grid of four right now we should support uh, up to four grid options yeah the, the grid of four which is probably good uh direction is vertical which is fine um uh, uh, see if it is let's make any change no height is mainly for vertical cell title cell mm -hmm. so this all looks good except the images of all four are same okay i will change the image but before that i will make the similar layout using gallery and then probably i will show you the impact of changing colors i will go and use four images of image one see image two image three and i will use one more layout of image 500 by 500 image four add in all four i will add pages offer new product about us oh. and i will just say hmm. hello i'm just putting some title submit so these are four images linking to different pages if i come here and refresh you see these are four images linking to different different pages the offers and uh, all the new pages okay this is a reminder okay we are about to finish anyways here uh, images size are a little small the size are big a little different ui but both are eventually doing the same thing linking to different pages edit i will just quickly go to style and see if i can change the grid size to four and refresh and see very quickly yes okay here you have customized with the image you want and the link of that here you didn't pick the image so on the pages layout images shows whatever you have added icon of the page you see the page icon so on every page you have an icon option so here the icons are red which means you have not picked icon for all the any of the pages i'll go to home page first and add the icon i will probably upload a new icon do i have a good icon i will probably use this icon for the first one okay uh, i can add image you see the icon is added to one page and if i click refresh the new icon is is right here on the home now wherever you are add you the pages layout uh, you will always get this icon so you don't have to pick the icon again and again however if you use the banner layout you always have to pick the image obviously both have a plus and minus the 
banner layout has an option to uh, has the flexibility to pick any image whereas pages layout gives you a less content input kind of situation where you just need to pick the page you don't have to worry about the icons it's already set somewhere else uh, okay home is green now i will just put the icon of all the four pages quickly And pages. Add image. And I will just quickly add icon for fourth image. Now consider okay, sorry. Consider scenario where you are making a product page. Let's say product page of a, a product of your company. Then the image is fixed. You probably want to use the pages layout with the appropriate icon. And if you are making an offer kind of page, then you might want to change the image. You see, we get four images. I think I'm almost done. Uh, any question till now? Hello. Edit. As usual, I will put some colors. Let's look, uh, look nice. Yes. Okay, any question till now? I have today explained about the pages layout, the bookmark layout, and the SKU layout where you can put the SKUs and bookmarks and pages. If there's no question, I can probably close the session and we can come back tomorrow with uh, more content. So tomorrow I will try to show the auto placement flow on the app, which I failed to do it because somehow I'm not able to connect my phone to the laptop. Okay then, bye-bye. Stop to share and end the session.